Hello! In this tutorial we will be discussing the tools that a photographer would use in Photoshop CS5. If you look over to the left over here you will see our tool palette. All of our tools will reside within this palette. One thing to note is on some of these buttons you'll see a small black triangle on the lower right hand corner. What that means is there are other tools hiding underneath the button that is currently displayed. Um, let's start with the most basic tool and that's the move tool. The move tool just moves things around. If we have multiple layers we can move it around. Um, this wouldn't be very practical um, in this you know what we're looking at here but it just shows you what it can do. Whether it's moving the layer around within an image or moving it up um, and dragging it over to another image and you know laying that layer right on top of it. It's a pretty useful tool um, but doesn't really need a lot of explanation. The next set of tools are the marquee tools featured by the rectangular marquee and what it does is it draws out a selection in either square or a rectangular form we will discuss uh, selections in another tutorial but they're really pretty basic. Um, within that the next one is the elliptical marquee tool and that will do the same thing but it draws it out as a, as a circle or as an oval. Uh, something to note within this tool is the feathering. Uh, I have this set at the maximum it's 250. Zero uh, would be meaning there's no transition at all. If I were to fill this with black, uh, one pixel would be white and the very next one would be black. But with the 250 feather, let me show you what it does. Edit and fill with black. And then I'm going to control D to deselect the selection. The transition occurred over 250 pixels. So uh, total white is up here and total black is in here and there's a transition so it was really smooth. If the feathering was zero it would be a hard edge um, and you can put in any feather you choose whatever is going to best suit your needs. Another selection tool is the lasso tool. The lasso tool can be handy if you need to be very precise and draw what you want but it can also be kind of sloppy. If I were to draw a circle here you can see there's a little notch it's just not really that accurate uh, but it can come in handy at times. The next uh, lasso tool is the polygonal tool. I don't use it as a photographer but in design it can be very helpful and what that does is you just click down to, to make anchor points and it's going to draw straight lines in between getting you to that point. So not real helpful for photographers but it can be for graphics designers. One tool that is is the magnetic lasso tool. It's very helpful for me as a photographer. Let's say, let me get rid of that layer, that I wanted to select this area. What I can do is use the magnetic lasso tool and what that does, Photoshop looks for uh, contrasting edges like we have right here. It can see the difference between the green and uh, the skin tones. So what I do is I click on an make an anchor point for the first part and I'm not clicking anything right here and Photoshop is automatically noticing that edge and it just drags off and makes a layer. Sometimes when I want to make sure that it sees where the edge is I might click to make some anchor points and go on. Now this part it's not going to make very good selection on the out outside edge but we can clean that up easy enough. But when it sees the skin and the green in this case it makes a pretty good selection. So what I would do here is I'd go back to the lasso tool and fill in the rest of that so that we have a selection and now I would again let's go just to fill black just to show you what it did and control D that made a pretty good selection but an easier way to do that would be 
to use the quick selection tool and that works well with that that was just too easy so let me let me back out I told you it was going to be easy let's do this area right here and it works like a paintbrush there's more colors in here um, but what it did is it selected this for some reason I'm going to select this subtract from selection feature and just come in and paint back her arm and that selection goes away again we can edit fill black just to show you the selection and there's things that we could do to smooth this out but as it is it did a pretty good job another one that resides in here it used to be the main one before the quick selection tool came around but the magic wand tool and if you want to use that that instead of dragging it like like the uh, quick selection tool the magic wand you just click down and it takes that color in that little area and it causes the selection to grow um, it's not extremely accurate and it's not as easy as the quick selection tool but it exists